WBC franchise champion and ring magazine champion, former two-time light middleweight champion, former two-time middleweight champion, former super middleweight champion, and current light heavyweight world champion, the six-time four-division world champion, Thomas y Caballeros de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Saul Canelo Alvarez. Increase. One defeat. He has two draws and 36 wins coming by way of knockout. Recognize the world over as one of the best pound for pound fighters on the planet. He is the four division world champion, Thomas Caballeros, presentando el hijo de Guadalajara, Jalisco, el orgullo del pueblo mexicano, Saúl. There were uh, duplicate introductions there as Michael yeah, Buffer was not piped into the crowd, so David right. Diamante stepped in. Hey Let's guys, go back to the ring. WBC and WBA world titles. Mr. Smith, give me a good clean fight. Obey my commands, protect yourself at all times. Senor Alvarez, yo quiero una pelea limpia, obedezcan mis órdenes y protegencia a todo tiempo. Son tus guantes de respeto. It's been two years since Carol Smith won the World Boxing Super Series. He has been pleading for this very opportunity. He took this fight on four weeks' notice. Can he do what no fighter has been able to do since Floyd Mayweather beat Canelo Alvarez? And we have been talking about the possibility of this fight. And Chris, you talked to Errol Spence, and hey, what about Terrence Crawford? Tafima Lopez, hey, what about Devin Haney? This is a fight that we said, hey, if you go to 168, will you fight the champ? And you see the crazy height differential there between Callum Smith, a full 6'3", and a 5'8", middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez, we're underway in round number one. They lift Canelo at 5'9", and he looks a little bit more like 5'8". They lift Callum Smith at 6'3", but he looks 6'4". <laughs> I'm telling you, no, he's you're a right. beast. It is a big difference. Canelo Alvarez sensed weakness when he fought Rocky Fielding, and he went in for the kill and starched him. Callum Smith, to his credit, also had a first-round knockout on Rocky Fielding, and he presents a larger package. But Canelo, again, lightning fast with power in this weight class. Feeling out process now in round one. Canelo was accepting this pace against Sergey Kovalev in his last fight. It'll be interesting to see if he is accepting of that pace in this fight. Body shot there by Callum Smith off the combination. And I would think Sergio Callum Smith needs to build confidence in this fight, right? In this round, and even just landing a shot. Okay, this guy's a superstar. I was just able to touch him. And he already touched him twice with the body, and I think that's, he's already getting confidence with that. Canelo is inching his way in. He's real calm. He wants to take his time. Callum knows that. That's why he's not committing to that long, strong jab that he has. But he is committing to those body shots. The top fighters in the sport will tell you there is a difference in the super fight in a big unification the champion versus champion so even though Callum Smith is very experienced he is the world champion in this weight class there is something to going in and fighting in the big event it can sap you of energy Canelo trying with the hook and a jab uppercut tried there by Callum Smith fell short trying to measure him and there's a jab landing from Canelo and a body shot to boot I think Canelo is very good at is parrying punches. That's one of the reasons I had him ahead of Sergey Kovalev in their fight last year. Sergey Kovalev threw 500 plus jabs. He only landed 10% of them. Canelo was that good defensively. Canelo able to find range with that jab now. Again, the much smaller man, but able to move in. But Callum Smith already having a better first round than he did against John Ryder his last time out. Or as I mentioned, Ryder was able to walk right to him and land shots he knows he cannot allow that tonight and survive long jab there by Callum Smith
Final 10 seconds of the opening round. And while Canelo has landed more and maybe won that round as he snaps back with a jab, not a bad process for Callum Smith in trying to get comfortable in this fight. Ah. the punch so he catches and returns with that same punch so he could he could block it and he can be aggressive with it brian kenny sergio Moore, and chris mannix here ringside hall of fame referee steve smoker with us as well kate abdo demetrius andrade upstairs and gareth davies and hall of famer joe calzaghi back in london so we've got you covered here round number two and a feeling out process in the first round but canelo alvaro is able to land a bit more than callum smith we believe winning that first round but smith getting through it Able to show a little something. You're shaking your head, Chris. You disagree? I had Callum Smith. Did you really? Winning that first round. Oh. I thought he landed more punches in the opening minute. Sergio? It was close, but, uh, I, I, you know, we're in Texas. We like the, the man coming forward and, you know, a couple of, uh, he threw a little bit more punches. His body shot landed by Canelo as we start right away. Chris, you know I like Canelo in uh, most every round. Right, we've got to get to round <laughs> three before you start questioning us, Chris. It is, uh, no, right away. I'm just surprised. I, I didn't know, but at least it points out that judges ringside, good jabbing by Callum Smith. A judge ringside could reasonably give that round to Callum Smith. That's good to know. And Callum Smith, uh, he will fight tall. He uses his height, but he does not use that long stick to keep his man at bay. He likes to get in and trade, and that could be dangerous here tonight. Long jab there by Smith, and he gets out of danger. Moving backwards. Very careful, very cautious tries with the right hand. I like that Smith is bending his, bending his knees, making himself smaller. So not only is, he's alternating in height, so he wants to smart, fight small, and he also wants to fight tall. Very smart for Smith. Again, you can see the experience of Callum Smith able to peer deeply in front of him. He tries the uppercuts of the body. That landed. It's right on the belt line. Jab snaps back the head of Callum Smith. And Canelo goes to work with the hook. The right hand was blocked. Let's see if they engage. Smith for being, having such a long reach. He has a beautiful short right hand. That was a good jab by Callum Smith. He was able to land there. Final minute of round number two. Most of that first round, according to copy box, fought at distance nearly the entire round, and you would figure that would favor the six foot three fighter in the ring and not the five foot eight fighter. Pawing jab there by Callum Smith. Hard jab by Canelo. If Canelo is able to land and then start to stalk, Callum Smith. Callum Smith could be in for a very rough night. That right hand just off the side of the head. You cannot let Canelo Alvarez get comfortable and wing shots at you. Liam Smith certainly learned that. And that's round two. Simón, mando, la, 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 la
Pero Yo doy más que lo ves, porque él es más largo, güey. ¿eh? Es muy lento para ti. Quiérate más. Simón. The rich of him. Vamos. But you're doing good with the jab. When Callum Smith's brother Liam fought Canelo in 2016, Liam looked outclassed early. He came on to have his moments, land in the middle rounds. Then he got knocked down in the seventh, body shot knocked him down in the eighth, liver shot in the ninth, and it was a destruction, wild shot there by Canelo. But Callum Smith is not Liam Beefy Smith, and he has done well so far in the first two rounds. You can't take eyes off Canelo right there. It looked like he was unfocused, kind of coming into the round. He threw a home run left hook looking for the fences right there on Smith. You're right, Sergio. There is, there is menace in those shots. Let's go to London and the former super middleweight champion of the world, Joe Calzaghe, is watching this fight. Joe, your thoughts on this fight so far? Cagey couple of rounds to start with. Um, I believe that, um, as you can see, Canelo's trying to close that range for them big hooks. I think Smith needs to be more assertive with that jab and start getting a bit busier. Joe, thank you so much. Joe Calzaghe, longtime super middleweight champion, eventually unified the title, beating Jeff Lacey. And I mentioned there's some uh, anti UK bias by many US fans who figure, well, look, you did felt well in England, but. That's not going to hold up when it comes here. And Joe Calzaghe certainly proved himself beating Michael Kessler, Bernard Hopkins, and then eventually a past his prime, Roy Jones. But that's what Callum Smith is up against tonight. Again, against a, an international uh, fighter in Canelo Alvarez, international superstar from Mexico, uh, up against it tonight, but so far has been able to get into a little bit of rhythm and pace. He's letting him get into some rhythm, but I don't like, as Joe pointed out, the lack of activity with the jab. If Canelo is going to stalk you, you've got to keep throwing that jab out there, keep trying to turn him, keep him moving. You can't let him get that close range. That's when he will land a big shot. Canelo trying to cut off the ring, and he does, and he lands a right hand straight up the pipe. And that jab doesn't always have to be long and strong. It could be flicking jab just to keep Canelo's arms uh, next to his head right there. Yeah, and you know Callum Smith doesn't want to quite engage as he takes a shot there to the head and trade. Yeah, that would be... That would be disastrous, in my opinion. Uh, Canelo is just, he's not only shorter and tighter with his punches, he's just faster and harder. So any exchanges could be very dangerous. Good jab there by Canelo on the right hand, follows up. He's within distance now. Two jabs both land from Canelo as he starts to get his range and close in. Able to step out, make Smith miss with the left and the right. Good defensive work by Canelo Alvarez. He has excellent head movement. Jab again in the right hand from Canelo. Sergio, he's closing the gap now. He's been closing the gap, and he's doing it quietly. Canelo is. Notice how, no, look at the, his feet. Look at, they're, they're basically stepping on each other right now. This is what Canelo could explode. The Smith family is here. So is the Alvarez family. There is Canelo's mom, Anna, who is here. In the fight with Sergey Kovalev, I don't know if you guys remember, fans began to boo Canelo in the eighth round. They got a little more than restless. Canelo picked up the pace in the ninth round. He got a stoppage in the 11th. Here you can see in that third round, Canelo Alvarez started to close the gap and started to land with more ferocity and more frequency. Hard jabs there by Callum Smith, trying to keep Canelo at bay as we open up the fourth round. Well, the feint is one of Canelo, Canelo's best attributes. He did the Kovalev in sort of baiting him with that right hand until Kovalev overcompensated and Canelo hit him with that left hook. Hard right hand there. You know, Callum Smith just landed an uppercut. That was a nice shot, but Canelo comes back and he is throwing much harder right now. Gets Callum Smith up on the ropes, lands a right hand. 
Getting him in the corner and able to land with that jab. That's what you want to do with tall fighters. You, you want to faint in there. You want to try to get him to bite and fall off balance. Tall fighters don't have great balance. But Callum Smith, again, does not put out the stick and dance away. That's not his style. He needs to stand and he needs to trade and land combinations, and that's dangerous against Canelo Alvarez. It's possible, but it's difficult. Tries with the body shot, partially blocked. Hard right hand by Canelo. It is amazing when you look at him now. That body just looks different, Sergio, than when he was a good hard body shot from Canelo with the hook, than when he was a champ at 154. He really brings the power to this weight class. Bulky and muscular, and, and, and he's explosive. And both of them throwing single heart, uh, single shots because uh, both of them are very good at counter punching. They're all single shots right there from Canelo and from Smith. You see Canelo outlanding Callum Smith as Smith throwing 168 punches through three rounds and landing only 19% of them. So that speaks to Canelo's outstanding defense and head movement. And also just Smith just trying to put a punch out there to use as a blinder and keep him at bay. Well, it's shades. Of Sergey Gogol. He threw a lot of punches in their fight. He didn't land a lot of punches, whereas Canelo, not as active, but a lot more accurate. Canelo with the 1 2. Moving in on his man. Starts to mark up the face of Callum Smith, the champion. Callum Smith tries with the jab to the body and then the head nicely done. He's also shown a decent Sergio uppercut in this round, but he can't take too many shots like that. Well, Smith, one of his best weapons is an uppercut. Of course, he throws a great jab Ooh, and a great left hook. That's a good uppercut by Canelo Alvarez. Smith up on his toes there for a moment. Looked like it bothered him, if not rocked him. And now it looks like Smith is bending his knees even more, which is good if he's moving Sergio, but not if he's standing right in front of Canelo. No, he can't stay in front of him. And I, I want to see him. I, he needs to get respect. Smith needs to get some respect from Canelo. Canelo's just starting to come forward and land those winging left shots. If he gets close enough, he's going to start banging to the body. We had fighters telling us that, that if, if, if Callum Smith doesn't hurt Canelo at some point, he can't win this fight. And if he doesn't get rounds in the bank, Callum Smith is not going to win this fight or win a decision. Your defense. Working defense. Boy, after the next round, he's going down, is what they're telling Canelo. That's what Eddie Reynoso said that he's going to be going down. And look, that's a solid one two right there that penetrated the gloves of Callum Smith, but it was one in between. They're doing pot shots. Both of them were looking for counter punches. They're both excellent counter punches, but right now, Smith needs to be a little bit more offensive. Canelo Alvarez has been patient, but also menacing throughout this fight. He has picked up the pace. He did so in round three. We open up now round five. Callum Smith comes out firing tries to establish himself in this round he needs to start winning rounds but it is going to be difficult he's going to have to change the game plan here it's going to be an important round for Tom Smith right here he needs this round he needs to get that respect uh, I agree with you completely Sergio you're right he needs to like drive Canelo right, back and needs to touch him and it needs to hurt him and make him pay because right now Canelo is just moving in with impunity he is not worried about what is coming back Chris Mannix, we're going to go to your scorecard. You gave that first round to Callum Smith. How about since then? Yeah, I thought Callum was more active fighter in that first round, but since then, it has been all Canelo Alvarez. His punches have been cleaner. They have been sharper. They have been harder. He has really taken control of this fight after a relatively inactive first round. I'll tell you, that was beautiful head movement by Canelo Alvarez in a hard hook. He, he, he saw Callum Smith land an uppercut. He tries the uppercut again, and he tried to land then more shots, and Canelo just got out of the way. And Smith was just punching the air. You see the scorecard right there from Chris Mannix. Last three rounds going to Canelo. And you can have it all Canelo so far. First round was close. Yeah, we've seen uh, the, the head movement when Canelo fought Daniel Jacobs. It was an incredible head movement in defense. And we've seen a lot of it here in this round. And it's underrated, Sergio, because he's not dancing. He's not moving. He doesn't look like a great defensive fighter. But look at that move right there. Made, made Smith miss that right hand. He is a fantastic defensive fight. He's coming forward moving his head. He's being aggressive and being defensive at the same time. Gareth Davies has every round so far for Canelo Alvarez. 
Hard body shot there, partially blocked. I'm sure that breaks his heart. You've got uh, a lot of English fans and English pundits there rooting for Callum Smith. Demetrius Andrade, who has a middleweight belt, is with us as well on our broadcast team. Demetrius, what do you think so far? Uh, man, listen, um, Colin Smith definitely didn't come here to win. I think Canelo's doing a great job establishing his jab, the body work. He looks, he looks really good in there tonight. Um, but yeah, Colin Smith needs a, I don't know, man, I don't know what his game plan was to, you know, maybe wear him out, take him into the deep waters and, just, you know, try to win the second half of the fight. But um, he's looking like he's not, you know, he's not doing it. Just Demetrius, just, did you say he's, he, he's not looking to win? Colin Smith does not, yeah, he does not okay. win, like, he, he's, he came here to win, because if in, at this at this point, I'm going into the fifth round, I haven't won one round, I haven't I'm got any respect, I haven't done anything to, uh, you know, have Canelo change his game plan, no, that doesn't look like he, he, he came here to win. All right, Demetrius, and that's not you. a winner. That, thank you so much, I just want to make sure and clarify what he said there. I, I think that's uh, that's a little harsh, but I know what he's saying, Sergio, your thoughts? No, I, to I totally agree, I mean, it sounds harsh. Of course, you could put it in different words, but I agree with him. I think I only gave Callum one round, and if you, you, if you came here to win, you got to show that you want to win. It's a big stage against the biggest fighter in the world. There's Liam Beefy Smith right there. Smith clan rooting on Callum. Yeah, look, he hasn't done much so far. I, I think he's trying as best he can. He landed that uppercut, and then he went for more against Canelo, and Canelo's not there to be hit. No, he's not, because of the head movement. coming down there. He's going the down defense. the middle. Then try to come down the side. For everything that we were there was attacking and you see him coming on the lovely touch he landed more again the landing okay yeah he's got a coming in there with frustration and pull a big push what's the beginning of the round that is and this all right okay tight don't swing you threw lovely shots from mid to long range over there. joe gallagher there in the corner his trainer of the year a few years back and he's got a tall order because you can see Sergio, the defense by Canelo is, is fantastic. Look at him get out of the way. Not only the head wound, but look at how he just moved his chin. He just tweaked his chin and, and he missed that uppercut Callum Smith did. I mean, that's that's beautiful right there. Normally you roll with a shot like that, but to be so composed like Canelo is right there, it's beautiful. Smith landing the hook there, so a bit of success. But Gallagher there, look, he said, look, you climb Mount Everest, you only have so much time at the top. So they took this opportunity even though style-wise, uh, maybe not the, the best chance here. But he's the champion of the world at 168. So when the middleweight champ and the money man comes knocking, Chris, you have to answer, and he did. You have to. Fight was taken on four weeks' notice. Joe Gallagher told me that we'd love to have had a couple of the weeks, but he wanted this fight. He believes his guy's in great shape. But you are seeing a great fighter in action in Canelo, dictating the pace, landing the bigger shots. Uh, and again, I mentioned closing the gap in the first two rounds. 90, good right hand by Canelo, and he comes back to the body with a combination. 90% of the fight at distance in the first two rounds, and now 32% of the fight in close range. Canelo is moving forward, and he's landing, and he's making Callum Smith miss. Just this, a beautiful performance so far. This is what Canelo does for opponents. Even it's a big gun. Even guys that punch real hard, they, he, they keep their guns holstered. They're afraid to throw shots because he, Canelo counters too quickly and too explosively. Let's go back to Gareth Davies and Joe Calzaghe in London, fellas. Yeah, but the fifth round was a better run for, for Smith. You know, he started from combinations. Uh, he can't do one-shot pot shots against Canelo because of his defense, and he's, he can't back up. He's just hold his ground, full in combinations. He had a bit more success in the fifth. He's trying again here, Joe, and this is much better. He's got to let his hands go now he? because he's behind in the fight. He does. He's back up against the ropes, and that's the worst thing against Canelo. It allows him to load up and then hook to the body in the head. And that's this is great ball. stuff as well. This is great here. This is it. This is it. Back to you guys. Gareth, Joe Calzaghe, thank you so much. Good to hear from the Hall of Famer. And Gareth, always good working with you back in London. And there's Callum Smith goes to work. Look, Callum Smith historically has a high work rate. He broke the CompuBox record for most jabs ever at 160 eight pounds and the copy box numbers go back to 1985 he threw over 850 jabs in one of his fights he broke glenn Koff johnson's record glenn Koff, former light heavyweight champion of the world and he knocked out roy jones so smith is going to have to do that he lands a jab there on canelo and tries the uppercut so a little more life in Callum Smith here in the sixth round. Yeah, Callum Smith not only has a record for throwing uh, a lot of jabs, but also landing a lot of jabs, along with uh, Gennady Golovkin. And this is when you have to show character. When it's not going your way, when it looks like the man in front of you is just better, stronger, more experienced, 
And Callum Smith is going to have to dig deep. Doubles up on the jab and misses. Final seconds of the sixth round. Callum Smith a bit more success. Trying with more combination punching in that round. Now you saw him hitting the shoulders. Be careful with the right hand. Hold and then use the left hook and right hand. Amir Khan, Liam Smith. You see the eye marked up there on Callum Smith. Alfredo Angulo, Josecito Lopez. A past his prime, Shane Mosley. Chavez Jr. Those are the second tier wins that I just listed, Chris Mannix, for Canelo. That's not even Triple G, Daniel Jacobs, Arislandi Lara, Austin Trout, Miguel Cotto. So that's what I mean with the championship level experience favoring Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, really, ever since Canelo was at 154 pounds, he has been willing to face the very best of Lara and Trout, all the way up to Golovkin, Cotto before that. He knows what it's like to be in these types of events, and he also knows what it's like to beat guys the size of Callum Smith. You wonder if Callum Smith has the pop to drive Canelo back and do some damage. Sergio, it doesn't look like he's got that through six rounds. No, he, has, he definitely has the pop. He just can't, he, he, probably, he can't push Canelo back. This entire fight, we only see Canelo coming forward. Callum Smith hasn't imposed his size or his will coming forward. Right now, it's all Canelo coming forward. Look at how he's cutting off the ring. No respect. Uh, for uh, Callum Smith. Also, Sergio, nice up and up there by Callum Smith. He tries with the hook. Good quick combination by Callum Smith for the jab straight up the middle. Even when he blocked that right hand, as a good uppercut from, from Canelo, it drove him back. Smith fights back off the ropes. Whenever a fighter is walking down his opponent so easily like Canelo, it's because there's a lack of respect because nothing's coming back. Right now, Callum Smith hasn't found any openings. He, he hasn't gotten respect from Canelo. Derek Davies, you see right there, he gave, well, he gave Callum Smith the fifth round. Huh. And an even round. Hall of Famer Steve Smoker is with us. Steve, you don't see many 10-10 rounds these days. I know commissions really discourage that. But uh, on occasion, a judge may do that. But it's not recommended. Hard body shot right there. It is 10 point must. You can score 10 10 to Steve's point. Thank you, Steve. Yes, sir. If, if you start to do that on a regular basis, and Chris, you're scoring a lot, you, you'll know you'll do half your rounds 10 10. You just have to make a choice. Final minute here of round number seven. Long jab there by Canelo. Uppercut from Canelo. And now he's able to start to pop shot. Smith is going to have to throw his hands, and he does right there. Now it feels like an uppercut is coming back. And Javante Davis, vicious uppercut against Leo Santa Cruz. Yeah. Anthony Joshua, big uppercut to the knockout of Pula. Last night, Gennady Golovkin landed his. Great weapon. Yeah, no question. I think Davis, that, 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 Javante Davis uppercut on Leo Santa Cruz is a great fighter. You're right, that, that's like, wait a second, you can throw that punch like that? It's like a bazooka. It's amazing. Long right hand by Canelo, and he gets out of trouble. Sergio, I, I don't know if it's not a game plan for Callum Smith. I don't know if he has the game to win this fight. You know what I'm saying? Well, he has the game. He has the guns. It's just this is what Canelo, this is what makes Canelo great. He makes you not want to punch. Another hard, bruising round for Canelo Alvarez. Relax, relax. You look better than this round. Yeah. 
in quiet rounds, whoever lands the cleanest shots is going to win the round. Canelo lands a clean right uppercut. Right there. Right there, and nothing comes back from the counterpuncher of Smith. Smith is an excellent counterpuncher. He has the timing. He knows how to block and counter with the same hand. None of that is coming out of Alan Smith, and that's why Saul Robert is winning these quiet rounds. When Alan Smith won the Ring Magazine title, he caught George Grove with a hook in the seventh round and then quickly finished him with a right hand. And then he had that electrifying U.S. debut on the same night that Anthony Joshua was shot by John Ruiz. He knocked out Hassan and Dom. But Rose and Ndam are not Canelo. So I know what you're saying, Sergio. He can knock people out. It just doesn't look good for him here tonight. He was able to duck, drop George Rose with a counter right hand. And he was able to drop him with a catch, catching counter left hook. Both hands are dangerous, but he's not letting him go. Canelo has landed 50 power shots, 27 of them to the bottom. So you knew with the physical matchup, 6-3 and 5-8, he was going to go to the body. That was a body shot that he stopped Liam Smith. So of course he's going to the body and effectively that shot's blocked but that right hand was and we've seen this with, we've seen this with Kovalev he didn't throw no punches we've seen this with Jacobs he didn't throw enough punches Golovkin lead uppercut by Canelo and then a right hand you know what Sergio Canelo just provides such a tight package coming at you and then when you throw a shot if he's able to move or counter it's just so difficult to beat him counter punching it really he really doesn't let you do anything. Even Chavez Jr., if you remember that, white wash. He just stood against the ropes. Fast hands make you want to not punch. Combination there by Callum Smith. He gets a little more active, throwing his hands. Power punches so far. Nearly two to one for Canelo. Look at that percentage. 60% of power punches landed for Canelo Alvarez. Just missed that right hand. Doubling up on the right hand as well. Canelo looks comfortable. He is walking in. He is stalking. And looks to walk down Callum Smith. Good right hand there by Smith. Canelo gets a little lazy walking in. He gets hit. And you're right. Look, he's just, he's just not showing respect now. He's not taking shots and saying, no, I'm, I'm going to keep walking in. He rolled with that right hand. Canelo did. Thudding right hand. Those shots blocked. But they're popping on each other. Laying the wood to each other. And if they both do that, I think we know who's going to win that battle. Uppercut from Canelo. Brings the head up on Smith. Canelo fighting with no fear. Smith is very game. Eats a jab. Trying to figure this man out in front of him. But it's an awful lot to do. Tries with the uppercut. And now a longer jab. Coming up short with the right hand. Snapping jab by Canelo, he continues with his work rate. But he waits till he's in range. Nice right hand by Smith and an uppercut. But Canelo is able to get underneath the hook. Beautiful weave by the champion at 160. See, now most guys, Sergio, he lands those first two shots and lands the third. Not here. Just, he continues to come forward, imposing his will on his sides. Smith is trying. There's no question. He's given everything he has. And he was able to land those two hard shots, but then couldn't finish the job because Canelo was just too slick. Like I say, he's stalking, stalking, stalking for them big shots, all right? Stalking that there, that right uppercut when it comes. Time beating for the left hook with it, Callum. Yeah, all right, okay. Yeah, for good, for good. Okay, but he wants to go, go with him, all right? He wants nothing to lose, so he wants to go there, go with him. Okay, look, right here, Callum Smith finally lets his hands go, do we? He lands that left hook right here, but right here, two left hooks, and the rest, Canelo rolls with these shots. Is that, is that enough to win the round? I don't think so, because then Canelo comes back and does his own thing with combinations. You know, Smith has decent power, but that, th those were two hooks that landed, including one flush on the jaw, and Canelo just ate it. I mean, he had just no trouble taking that shot. Round nine scheduled for the championship 12. It has been uh, mostly Canelo Alvarez as he fires off and lands a right hand, and then a jab. Back. So Smith fighting back in that last round. But Canelo gets under the hook and goes to work. Uppercut landed. 
as he moves in and some blood now coming from the nose of Palin Smith. That uppercut's been the best punch for Canelo coming forward. The body shots and the uppercut. A lot of people think that shorter fighters can't, can't land uppercuts on taller fighters. That's not the case here. Smith firing back with a hard right hand in the middle of that combination. Sergio, you brought this up earlier, and he did this against Daniel Jacobs. Canelo rolls with big punches, like he sees them a fraction of a second before they get there, and they still connect, but he's able to land them, he's able to reflect them off. That was a hard body shot in a right hand. Chris Mannix giving two rounds so far to Callum Smith. You know, a lot of Mexican fighters do that. Chavez used to do that. I remember Antonio Montevito used to do that. Just roll with the punches. It looks like it lands, but when you see it in slow motion, it's, he's rolling with the power. Smith is getting beat up. He cannot stand there and take those shots. Blood now pouring from his nose. He weighs in. He is giving it everything he has. And now back up against the ropes and toward the corner. Dangerous territory for Smith. Smith is hurt. Buckled on the ropes. That the ropes kept him up, but he's able to move off and gain his footing. One of the hardest shots of the night. He fights back and fires with his own combination. Champion fighting back with everything he has. Well, the uppercut there, and that was a fake with the a fake with the jab, uppercut Sergio, and it's straight the front of his face. It's been the best punch for Canelo. He's physically imposing, coming forward. It's the body shot, and then once he's inside, it's the uppercuts, and that's the reason Smith is backing up and his nose is bleeding. And you see those hands coming down for for Callum Smith. He's dangling them a little bit lower. That's dangerous territory for him to be. Callum Smith, the champion of the world, is getting busted up. Uppercut in the right hand. Fires back a hook, trying to get respect. Final 30 seconds of the ninth round. Look at Smith go to work and try to drive the middleweight champion back. But you see just a little bit of give on Callum Smith. Right hand, he's hurt. Smith is hurt. Uppercut landed out, body shot, hurt Smith quite a bit. Canelo has 20 seconds. Looking for just the right shot that could possibly end this fight. Hard right hand. Callum Smith is getting beaten down, but he hasn't stopped firing back. That was a very rough round for the super middleweight champion. A lot of concern there with the Smith family, including Liam Beefy Smith there in the middle, who went nine rounds with Canelo and got knocked out. Doesn't look good for Callum Smith here tonight. Let me give you one more round. You wonder how much punishment they'll let him take. Let's watch this again. Here we're going to see the smaller man bullying the bigger man against the ropes, and it's the right uppercut that keeps landing. Callum Smith with his hands up, just letting Canelo let those punches fly against the ropes. And you see. Callum Smith go against the ropes, and the ropes did that's hold him up yeah, here briefly. Steve Smoker, your thoughts as to when that should be a knockdown? Not in that instance. Not in that instance. I agree with you. It was close, though, wasn't it? Almost. No, not really. Really? Okay. Not really. He's got his wits about him. What are you laughing at, Chris? Tell him, Steve. <laughs> no, Steve. <laughs> Steve, if you say it, I believe you. I didn't think it was that close. <laughs> but if you, but if, you let, if you sit on those ropes, that could be called a knockdown. It did not reach that state. I'm with you. I'm glad you enjoyed that, Chris Mannix. Round 10, and you wonder, uh, have you guys thought yet about the corner of Callum Smith acting on this? Now, were you at that point yet? No, 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 not yet. It's, it's a bad beating, Sergio. It's a beating, it's punishing, but no, it's not where it's, uh, where Callum Smith is, is hurt, and I'm with Steve Smoker here. That wasn't a knockdown. I don't, I don't think he was supposed to be knocked down, but he's getting pummeled. I'll give you that. I hear you. No, I didn't think it was a knockdown either. Hard shots there from Pinnell, but I think we are getting to the point where if you're in the corner, of Callum Smith, you're thinking, how long do we let this go if he's won maybe one or maybe two rounds here? Hard shots again, uppercut from Canelo. Bruising, punishing shots from Canelo Alvarez. Sergio, I thought it was interesting. Callum Smith, I'm sorry, Canelo Alvarez, for the first eight plus rounds, or eight rounds in between the rounds, he sat on the, on the stool in the corner. In the time between that last round, he stood up the entire time. First time I've seen Canelo do that. Why would that be? 
Well, I think, I think it's because he has the legs. He has the freshness. We've seen him do a little dance like three rounds ago. I've never seen Canelo dance either. He's feeling light on his feet, and he's definitely punching heavy. Smith was hurt by that shot to the body, to the side. And then the uppercut straight up the middle and the jab as well. Canelo just walking comfortably to Callum Smith and a hard body shot as well. Let's go to Joe Calzaghe. Joe, would you give any thought to stopping this fight? Yeah, I think it's uh, Canelo's is just a struggle now. I think um, Canelo Smith is doing his best here, but uh, it just looks too powerful at the moment. Um, Alvarez, too powerful. Then punches. He's getting backed up on the ropes. The uppercuts, the hooks. You know, they, they, they're taking this toll. It's a lot hard. From the world champion Joe Calzaghe, thank you so much. And Joe, I I'm with you. Look, the beatdown has continued. Can he win this fight? Although I understand the ethos of it, Sergio. It's a world title fight. Normally, the thought is somebody gets carried out. But do you want to see that if you're in the corner of Callum Smith? Yes, because he's a champion. This is a championship round. Let him, let him either go on like a champion, fight like a champion, or last the distance like one. You, you don't want to, though, let the fighter make that decision. And I don't think Callum Smith will. But he is wilting under these shots. Canelo coming forward yet again. Blood pouring from the nose of Callum Smith. Final 15 seconds of this 10th round. Oh! Hard right hand by Alvarez and a body shot as well. Smith drops his hands low for a moment to suck in some air. coming up, yeah? Okay, you know he's got to come strong and heavy now, son, all right? Yeah? You have to be honest with me now, have you got something there to give back, fight back with, yeah? Stop taking punches now, yeah. damn it! Yeah, okay, stop. Yeah, no, no, yeah, okay. All right, but you're aware of everything that's coming on, everything else, yeah? Hit low, hit low all the time. And if he does come reaching for these shots, you're sitting on the ropes, you're not countering. Trying to catch him that right. And here's what I mean, guys. Look, the smaller man pushing, the bigger man back. These, these shots are being blocked, but they're still being punishing. They're still blooding the nose and discouraging the bigger man. Those body shots right there, that left hand right there, Callum Smith felt that. He's been feeling them. How much will does Callum Smith have? Again, it's frequently said this is a man who doesn't know how to lose. When you're unbeaten, Sergio, there is that aura of it. You don't, you don't know what it's like to submit, to say, okay, I'm done. But we're, we're approaching that if we're not there already. 27-0. He is the defending champion in this weight class. Uh, Canelo Alvarez winning most every round. We're now in the 11th round, and Callum Smith is taking a beating. Look, I, I see Callum Smith wilt, wilting away, yes. Withering away, but I don't see him weakening. I don't see it the fight. See, he's coming off the ropes. He's still punching. You got to give a champion the benefit of the doubt. Smith firing back off the ropes, no question. Hard jab down by Canelo. Body shots as well. Smith, a lot of heart. I mean, there's no question. Championship heart that he has gained through his amateur career and his outstanding professional career. But Canelo offers a hard hook. Uh, he is at the superstar level for a reason. He has the resume and he has the skills. And at the age of 30, Chris, he seems to be getting better and better. Yeah, I mean, we talked about Canelo's chin. A lot of the good chin he had. Back in the day, in his early fights, fighting Jose Miguel Cotto, when he got buckled in that fight, you wondered how this guy would stand up to big punches. It seems that Chin's only gotten better as his career has progressed. He is sturdier and sturdier here in the 11th round, halfway through. Canelo making a statement. And look at that in round 10. 30 to 6. Just a huge disparity in punches landing. Snapping off the jab. And he's landing over 50% of his shots as well. He's accurate, not wasting shots, moving his head. The total package. Not that Smith isn't trying. Trying everything he can. But this is a different animal. Right hand. That hurt Smith. That caught Smith on the forehead. That caught with his knees. Another right hand after the hook. Smith fights back. That was borderline low. Maybe it was low. That hurt an awful lot. Jab to the head. Smith firing back with his last gasp, perhaps. 
Not an awful lot left. Was that low? That was, I didn't think it was low. I think it was borderline, but it was a devastating shot, I'll right, tell you that. Right on, you know, right on the right on the belt line. He didn't see no complaints from Smith. He didn't look at the rep and he didn't gesture that it was low, so that's how you know it was good. He's also not built that way, Sergio. Right? No, he's, too, he's just too game. He's way too game. And, look, and, and, and the waistband look that's up, you know, covering the legal scoring area. So I don't think it was, but wow, it was a devastating shot. Callum but, Smith has never been down, uh, Brian. Never been down in his career. This is gonna. This is a beating that he's enduring here with Canelo, but you got to give him this last round. Final seconds of the 11th round, and you know that's going to be a, a motivator for Callum Smith to just finish this fight. Anna watching her son fight and look for his third division of world supremacy. She has to enjoy what, he's, what she's seeing. And there is Canelo standing again. We need a perfect run. You go for him, you can knock him down. Make the perfect round. Last round. Watching from the song at the beginning now, all right? Uh, uh, that's back all right? Yes? The energy has just been sapped from Callum Smith. You can see it in his face. But you know that the finish line is now in sight. And in the corner of Canelo Alvarez, how about a perfect round? Sure. <laughs> that would be terrific. 12th and final round, super middleweight championship of the world. Canelo Alvarez comes out firing. He has looked superb and punishing here tonight. Canelo has bullied Smith the entire fight. He will try to go for the knockout. He will try to close the show. Canelo's going for it here. You can see hard right hand slide there by Smith. Canelo answered with the right hand. Snapping jab from Canelo Alvarez in the right hand. The busted up face from Callum Smith. He fires back with his own combination. Smith's got a great shot. I mean, he has landed some big, Canelo's landed some big shots. And Smith is hanging in there for it. Even the body shots too, and that's a lot of will and conditioning. Because he has taken thudding body shots, and he's been able to stand up to it. Can he stay on his feet for another two minutes? That's a question. Right hand lands from Canelo. Chopping overhand. Trying to move in with the jab and get close. Smith able to get out of danger and make him miss that uppercut. Canelo winging shots throughout this fight. Combinations from Canelo. Right hand and getting out of danger. Smith with enough oomph to fire back. Yeah, sharing a laugh there, Sergio. Yeah, smiling at him because he tried to catch him with that catching hook. That's one of Callum <laughs> Smith's best punches. Canelo saw it coming a mile away. That is, that's something that they both have that wherewithal and professionalism to say. All right, I saw what you did. Nice try. That is not going to work. It worked with everyone else, not Canelo. Approaching the final minute of the 12th round. And now Callum Smith will try to tie up Canelo. Try Smith. to buy a little time and met with booze here in San Antonio. Because Smith is looking up at the clock. He wants to stand already, and that's why the you fans are looking at that. You can't blame him. Hard footing right hand again. And a body shot from Canelo trying to close the show. Can he finish with a knockout? I don't think there's much question, if any question, on the scorecards. I mean, there can't be. But Callum Smith trying to end this fight on his feet. Well, we know Canelo has a 11th round knockout with Kovalev, but he does have a 12th round knockout with another Brit in Ryan Rhodes. Well, that was, what, nine years ago? About nine years ago, right. yes. <laughs> but he does have it. Sergio. Final 30 seconds. Callum Smith in his final half minute of being a world champion for now. Did everything he could in this fight. Bad style matchup. And the matchup itself against a superstar world champion who seems to be getting better and better with age. Even off the pandemic and the shutdown, he has stayed sharp. Canelo Alvarez with the look of a three-division world champion.
154, 160, and he should be. Let's go to the copy box numbers and see the level of domination here. And again, those are hard shots. Again, the copy box numbers counting up the punches. Not all punches are created equal, but outlanding Callum Smith 2-1, to 209 to 97. Smith throwing more punches, not as hard. The accuracy coming from Canelo Alvarez. Also, be interested to see the, the power punches landed by Canelo as well, because that's his game. Throwing the hooks and the uppercuts, 126 to 55. They threw about the same amount, but it was just vastly different. Canelo was accurate, he was powerful, he took his time. And the jabs, even Canelo out jabbing Callum Smith, a man six foot three, while he's five foot eight. Just a masterful performance by the now super middleweight champion of the world. And as for Callum Smith, there is a moral victory in finishing this fight on his feet and remaining at the age of 30 a viable fighter out there and a former world champ. Moral victory, but how do you out jab a fighter that has a record in jab? Canelo just did something unbelievable. What a night. Chris Mannix is with the champion of the world at 168 pounds. Chris? Canelo. Canelo, congratulations. 13 month layoff. You're facing arguably the top guy at 168 pounds, and you have another brilliant performance. What did you think of your effort tonight? No, me siento muy bien. La verdad que hice muy buen trabajo después de 13 meses sin pelear. Creo que hice muy buen trabajo con un peleador de, ma de mayor peso que yo, eh, campeón mundial, el número uno en este peso. Creo que hice un gran trabajo después de 13 meses. Me siento muy contento. Es mi un gran peleador y, y pues aquí estamos de regreso. Gracias a toda la gente que pudo estar aquí. Gracias por el apoyo incondicional. Get introductions there. And WBA world titles. Mr. Smith, give me a good clean fight. Obedia, Obedia's got me ordered in this ETH for a fiancé. I told both of you. So what is the series? He has been pleading for this very opportunity. He's been able to do since Floyd Mayweather beat Canelo Alvarez. And we have Terrence Crawford, Tafima Lopez. Hey, what about Devin Haney? This is a fight that we height differential there between Callum Smith, a full 6'3", and a 5'. They missed Canelo at five foot nine. <laughs> four. I'm telling you, no, he's you're a right. beast. It is a big difference. Starched him. Callum Smith, to his credit, also had a first round knockout, lightning fast with power in this weight class. Accepting this pace against Pace in this fight. Smith needs to build confidence in this fight, right? In this round, and even just twice for the body. And I think that's he's already getting confidence with that. Canelo is that long, strong jab that he has, but he is committing to those body shots. The top fighting champion versus champion. So even though Callum Smith is very experienced, the big event, it can sap you of energy. Canelo trying to measure him, and there's a jab landing from Canelo in a body shot. One thing Canelo is very good at is parrying punches. Through 500 plus jabs, he only landed 10% of them. But able to move in, but Callum Smith already having a better first round than he did against him and land shots. He knows it. Long. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. A bad process for Callum Smith in trying to get comfortable. Pay attention with the hook. Be careful. It was slow but dangerous. I mean, Canelo was inching his way in, and Callum knew that, so it was physically on the run. Well, here, Eddie Reynoso say, watch out for that hook. And he catches the punch, so he catches and returns with that same punch, so he could... He could. Referee Steve Smoker with us as well. Kate Abdo, Demetrius, covered here. Round number two, and a feeling out process in the first round, first round, but Smith getting through it. Able to show him punches in the opening minute. Sergio? It was close, but, uh, I, you know, we're in tech. By Canelo as we start right away. Chris, you know I like Canelo in uh, most every round. I'm just surprised. I, I didn't know, but at least it points out that judges ringside. Good job. Then Callum Smith at bay. He likes to get in and trade, and that could be dangerous here tonight. Long jab there by Smith, and he gets out of danger. I like that Smith is bending his, bending his knees, making himself smart than Smith. Again, you can see the experience of Callum Smith. Able to, he snaps back the head of Callum Smith, and Canelo goes to work with the hook. Long reach, has a beautiful reach, has a beautiful short right hand. That was a good jab by Callum Smith. 
Most of that first round, according to top foot three fighter in the ring, and not the five foot eight fighter by Canelo. Land and then start to stalk Callum Smith. Callum Smith. You cannot let Canelo out. And that's round two. Hay que estarlo pintando constantemente. Ahorita que lo pintaste la primera vez, las cuerdas le tiraste los dos, se los pegaste. Pues fue el vuelve. Pega rápido. Number one. Le estás metiendo buen gap, pero no los demás. Simón. The rich of him. Vamos. But you're doing last early. He came on to have his moments. Land in the middle rounds. Destruction. Wild shot there by Canelo. But Callum Smith is. You can't take your eyes off Canelo right there. He looked like Callum Smith. Your champion of the world. Joe Calzaghi is watching this fight. Joe, your thoughts on... It's cagey a couple of rounds to start with. Uh, my myth needs to be more assertive with that jab and start getting a bit busy. Unified the title beating Jeff Lacey. I uh, mentioned this. Uh, look, you did felt well in England, but that's not going to hold up when it comes here. Eventually, it passed his time, Roy Jones. But that's what Callum Smith is up against tonight from Mexico. Uh, up against it tonight, but so far has been able to get... Right out. The lack of activity with the jab. If Canelo is going to stalk and get that close range, that's when he will land a big shot. It could be long and strong. It could be flicking jab just to keep Canelo's arms ahead and trade. That would be that would be just tighter with his punches. He's just faster and harder. So any exchanges, he's within distance now. Step out, makes Smith miss with the left and the right. Good defensive right hand from Canelo. Sergio, he's closing the game. Notice how, no, look at the, his feet. Look at, they're, they're basically stepping on each other right now. The Smith family is here, so is... Okay, a little bit too all the time. Thank you. Ahorita, él ya se está cuidando de esta. Ya cuando me lo tengas aquí, en vez de ir aquí, hijo, le vas a meter aquí. You need to fame. Don't go back. Stay. Remember, fans began to boo Canelo in the eighth round. Here you can see in that third round, Canelo Alvarez started to close the gap. Jabs there by Callum Smith, trying to keep Canelo at bay as we open up the fourth round. Instead of baiting him with that right hand until Kovalev over top. That was a nice shot, but Canelo comes back, and he is throwing much harder right now. Getting him in the corner and able to land with that jab. Fall off balance. All fighters don't have great balance. Well, Callum Smith is a trade and lands combinations, and that's dangerous against Canelo Alvarez. Partially blocked. Hard right hand by Canelo. Then when he was a good hard body shot from Canelo with the hook. Then when he was a chip. And, and, and he's explosive. And both of them throwing single harmless shots right there from Canelo and from Smith. You see Canelo punches through three rounds and landing only 19% of them. So that speaks to care to use as a blinder and keep him at bay. Well, it's shades. Of Sergey Kovalev, not as active, but a lot more accurate. Starts to mark up the face of Callum Smith, the champion. On a decent Sergio uppercut in this round, but he can't take too many shots like that. By Canelo Alvarez, Smith up on his toes there, and now it looks like Smith is bending his knees even. I want to see? Uh, he needs to get respect. Smith needs to get some respect from Canelo. Canelo, the body. We had fighters telling us that that if if if, if he doesn't get rounds in the bank. Callum Smith is not going to win this fight, or win it. Working defense. Going down is what they're telling Canelo. That's what Eddie Reynoso said that he's going to be in between. They're doing pot shots. Both of them are looking for counter punches. They're both. Perez has been patient, but also menacing throughout this fight. Firing, tries to establish himself in this round. He needs to start winning rounds. It's going to be an important round for Callum Smith right here. He needs to, like, drive Canelo front, back. Baby. and needs to touch him, and it needs to hurt him what is coming back. Chris Mannix, we're going to go to your scorecard. You gave that first round to Cal Ben. All Canelo Alvarez, his punches have been cleaner. They have to inactive first round. I tell you, that was beautiful head movement by Canelo Alvarez. And I to land then more shots, and Canelo just got out of the way. Round's going to Canelo, and you could have it all Canelo. So Daniel Jacobs, it was incredible head movement and defense. And we're seeing a lot of it. Great defensive fighter, but look at that move right there. Made made Smith miss that right hand at the same time. Gareth Davies has every round, so that breaks his heart. 
You've got uh, a lot of English fans and Demetrius Andrade, who has a middleweight belt. Um, Colin Smith definitely didn't come here to win. I think Canelo's doing but yeah, Colin Smith needs a, I don't know, man. I don't know what his game plan was in half of the fight, but um, he's looking like he's not, you know, he's not doing it. He does not okay. look like he, he's, he came here to win because if in, at this at this point, I'm going into the fifth round. I haven't won one round. I haven't, it doesn't look like he's, he, he came here to win. All right, Demetrius. And that's not a win. That, I know what he's saying, Sergio. Your thoughts? No, I, told, I totally agree. I mean, if you, if you came here to win, you got to show that you want to win. It's a big on Callum. Yeah, look, he hasn't done much so far. I, I think he's there to be hit. No, right. it's not because of the head movement. Coming down because there. Coming the down defense. the middle. She landed more again. The landing, okay, yeah. All right, okay. Tight, don't swing. You threw lovely shots from... And he's got a tall order because you can see Sergio, the defense. Like He just tweaked his chin and, and he missed that uppercut. He missed that uppercut. Like Canelo was right there. It's beautiful. Smith landing the hook there. So time at the top. So they took this opportunity, even though style-wise, champ and the money man comes knocking Chris you have to answer but he wanted this fight he believes his guys in the bigger shots and again I mentioned closing the gap in the first two rounds distance in the first two rounds and now 32 percent of the fight just this, a beautiful performance so far this is what Canelo does to opponents Canelo counters too quickly and too explosively can't do one shot pot shots against Canelo because of his defense and he's again here Joe and this is much better he's got to let his hands go now as we double and big hooks in the body in the head and this is great stuff as well this is good Hall of Famer and Gareth always good working with you back in London Callum Smith historically has a high work rate he broke the compu back to 1985 he threw over 850 jabs the champion of the world man who knocked out Roy Jones the life in Callum Smith here in the sixth round. Yeah, Callum Smith not only had a lock him. And this is when you have to show character. When it's not going your way, Callum Smith is going to have to dig deep. <laughs> Trying with more combination punching in that round. Now you're starting hitting the shoulders with the right hand. Amir Khan, Dito Lopez, a past his prime, Shane Mosley. That's not even Triple G, Daniel Jacobs, Arizlandi Lara, Austin, and Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, really, ever since Canelo was at 154 pounds, Cotto before that, he knows what it's like to be in these types of events. The pop to drive Canelo back and do some damage. Sergio, he, probably, he can't push Canelo back. This entire fight, I know it's all Canelo coming forward. Look at how he's cutting off the ring. No respect. Good quick combination by Callum Smith with a jab straight up the middle. Even Smith fights back off the ropes. Walking down his opponent so easily like Canelo is because there's a lack of gotten respect from Canelo. <laughs> Gareth Davies, you see right there. Hall famous Steve Smoker is with us. Steve, you don't see many 10-10 rounds these days. I know Judge may do that, but it's not recommended. Hard body shot right. You start to do that on a regular basis, and Chris, you're scoring a lot. E you e Final minute here of round number seven from Canelo. And now he's able to start to pop shots. Smith is going to have a cut. Is coming back. And Javante Davis, vicious uppercut. Off and then it is. Great weapon. No question. I, 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 that, that's like, wait a second. You can throw that punch like that? It's like a bazooka. So I, I don't know if it's not a game plan for Callum Smith. I don't know if he has... Canelo, this is what makes Canelo great. He makes you not want to punch. Alvarez. In quiet rounds, whoever... Right there. Right there, and nothing comes from a block no, encounter no, with the no, same no, hand. No, 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 none of that is coming out of hell. He caught George Groves with a hook in the seventh round, and then quick same night that Anthony Joshua was shocked by John Ruiz. He knocked out Hassan. He can knock people out. It just doesn't look good for him here tonight. He was catching counter left hook. Both hands are dangerous, but he's not left. New with the physical matchup, 6-3 and 5-8. Effectively. That shot's blocked, but that right hand was And we've seen this, we've seen this with Golovkin. Lead uppercut by Canelo and then a right. And then when you throw a shot, if he's able to move or counter, it's just so difficult. to. He really doesn't let you do anything. Even Chavez Jr., if you remember that, right walk.
Combination there by Kyle Smith. He gets a little more active, throwing his head. Sense the power punch just landed for Camilo Alvarez. Comfortable. He is walking in. He is stalking and looks to. Good right hand there. And you're right. Look, he's just, he's just not showing respect now. He's not taking shots. It's thudding right hand. Those shots blocked, but they're popping on each other. Uppercut from Canelo. Brings the head up on Smith. Eats a jab. Trying to figure this man out in front of him. And now a longer jab. Coming up short with the snapping jab by Canelo. He continues with his work rate. Full get underneath the hook. Beautiful weave by the champion at once. He lands those first two shots. He lands the third. Not here. Smith is trying. There's no question. He's given everything he has. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, left hook then. Left hook when it comes. Try and beat him to the left hook with it, Callum. Yeah, all right. Okay. When he wants to go, you go with him. All right. Well, Callum Smith finally lets his hands go. Do we? He lands on left hook right here, but right here, two left hooks, and the rest, Canelo's back and does his own thing with the on the jaw, and Canelo just ate it. I mean, it's just the Canelo Alvarez as he fires off and lands a right hand, and then a jab, uppercut landed. As he moves in, and some blood now coming from the middle, coming forward. The body shot and the uppercut. A lot of people think that shorter fighters... The hard right hand in the middle of that combination. Sergio, you got this a fraction of a second before they get there, and they still connect. It's giving two rounds so far to Callum Smith. It looks like it lands, but when you see it in slow motion, it's in slow motion, it's in slow motion. It's he weighs in. He has given it everything he has. He's able to move off and gain his footing. Champion fighting back with everything he has. With the jab, uppercut Sergio, and it's straight the front of his. It's the body shot, and then once he's inside, it's the uppercut from Callum Smith. He's dangling him a little bit lower. That's dangerous. Trying to get respect. Final 30 seconds of the ninth round. Just a little bit of give on Callum Smith. Right hand, he's hurt. Canelo has 20 seconds. Possibly end this fight. Callum Smith is getting beaten down. A lot of who went nine rounds with Canelo and got knocked out. Doesn't look good for Callum Smith here tonight. Let me give you one more round. Okay. Think that got what? Let's watch this again. Here we're gonna see the small. Callum Smith with his hands up. See Callum Smith go against the ropes, and the ropes did hold him. That should be a knockdown. Not in that instance. He's got his wits about him. What are you laughing at, Chris? Tell him, Steve. <laughs> Ropes, that could be called a knockdown. It did not reach that state. I'm with you. I'm glad you and Smith acting on this. Now, were you at that point yet? No, 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 not yet. Smith is, is hurt, and I'm with Steve from over here. That wasn't a knockdown. I don't, I don't... The hard shots there from Pinnell, but I think we are getting to the point where it be one or maybe two rounds here. Hard shots again. Uppercut from Pinnell. Sergio, I thought it was interesting. Callum swinging rounds. He sat on the on a stool in the corner. In the why well, they I think it's because he has the legs, he has the freshness. We see him do a little definitely punching heavy. Smith was hurt by that shot to the body, to the side. To Callum Smith and a hard body shot as well. Let's Yeah, I think it's so uh, it just looks too powerful at the moment. Um, you know, they, they they're taking this toll. It's a lot hard. Can he win this fight? Although I understand the ethos of it, Sergio, from the corner of Callum Smith. Yes, because he's a champion. This is a championship round. Let him. You, you don't want to, though, let the fighter make that decision. Coming forward yet again. Blood pouring from the nose of Callum Smith. And a body shot as well. Smith drops his hands. Up. Okay. Round 11 coming up, yeah? Have you got something there to give back, fight back with, yeah? Punches, Everything else, yeah? Hit and roll, hit low all the time. And if he does come reach... Smaller man pushing the bigger man back. These, these shots are being blocked. Man, those body shots right there, that left hand right there. Cal it's frequently said, this is a man who doesn't know how to lose. When you're on it to say, okay, I'm done. But we're, we're approaching defending champion in this weight class. Uh, Canelo Alvarez winning. See Cal Smith wilt, wilting away, yes. Oh. Withering away. But I gotta give a champion the benefit of the doubt. 
Smith firing back. Smith, a lot of heart. I mean, there's no question. Champion. But Canelo offers a hard hook. Uh, he is at the superstar. He seems to be getting better and better. Yeah, I mean, we talked about Canelo's chin. Fighting Jose Miguel Cotto. When he got buckled in that fight, you wondered how this guy... Sturdier and sturdier. Here in the 11th round, halfway through. He to six. Just a huge disparity in punches landing. Not wasting shots, moving his head. The total package. Not that Smith is hurt Smith. That caught Smith on the forehead. That buckled his knees. An awful lot. Jab to the head. Awful lot left. Was that low, guys? I didn't think there was low. I think it was borderline. On the belt line. You didn't see no complaint from Smith. He didn't look at the ref and he didn't. He's just too game. He's way too game. And, look, and, and, and the waistband look, that's up. God. Callum Fuck. Smith has never been down, uh, Brian. Never been down in his given this last round. Final seconds of the finish this fight. And look for his third division of world supremacy. Standing again. Si te aplica lo puedes noquear, We need a pressure run. Oh, that's back on, right? yes. The energy has just gone. And in the corner of Canelo Alvarez, how about a perfect round? For the world, Canelo Alvarez comes out firing. He has looked superb. And Canelo has bullied Smith the entire fight. He will try to go for the knockout. Canelo answered with the right hand. And Smith, he fires back with his own combination. Smith's got a great chin. And that's a lot of will and conditioning because he has taken thudding body shots. Two minutes. That's a question. Right hand to jab and get close. Smith able to get out of danger. Canelo winging shots throughout this fight. Combinations from Canelo. Right hand and getting out of danger. Smith with yeah, smiling at him because he tried to catch him with that catch and hook. That's what it's That wherewithal and professionalism to say, all right, I saw what you did. <laughs> Approaching, trying to buy a little time and met with boos here in San Antonio. Right hand again. And a body shot from Canelo trying to close the show. Four cards. I mean, there can't be. But Callum Smith trying to end the... A 12th round knockout with another grip in Ryan Rhodes. He does have it. Sergio. Final 30 seconds. Champion for now. Did, every, did everything against a superstar world champion, Nate Sharp. A three-division world champion. 54, 160, and he should be. This was, and this was a clean win. Four division world champion. No, three. Eight, no, no. you would be counting. 168 is it, yeah. That's for two or better be I see what you're saying. Yeah, to be the real champ. And that, there's business with Caleb Plant, who has a belt. Maybe in the future, Billy Alvarez. Sergio, that's just impressive. I mean, it wasn't close. Just, uh, just I, I can give him two at most, but just one round through this fight. And in the early rounds, it was uh, it was a very slow go. Uppercuts working throughout this fight. The body shots and the uppercut. Not letting him think. Not letting him get those hands go. Calum Smith is an editor on the planet because that's what Canelo does. He makes fight. That's the most in his career. And again, it shows there. there. Right now, that's Canelo Alvarez. Basically, Sergio, I thought he was a terrific bully. We have a quick decision. Let's go to the ring and David. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here in Weisfeld and Rafael Ramos both scored about 111, all three for your winner, De Pueblo Mexicano. Three, three rounds sounds generous. Not out of the realm of possibility. And the middleweight champion of the world. And still a good, it was not enough. No, Callum Smith got con Canelo dominated. Let's go to the CompuBox numbers. Counting up the punches. Not all punches are created equal. More punches, not as hard. The accuracy coming from Canelo Alvarez. Throwing the hooks and the uppercuts. 126. Accurate. He was powerful. He took his time. Put eight. Just a masterful performance by the now finishing this fight on his feet and remaining at the age of 30. A record in jabs. Canelo just did something.